What's up guys, Sam here, and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Today we're going to look at one of the best farming strategies that you can get down here at lower level Town Hall 8. And I've just been using this a lot recently, and I've found that it works really well to get big loots. As you can see here from these replays here, these raids. Oh, not that one, that was bad. But yeah, look, we were getting good loot here. And for the most part, it's working really well, getting 3 stars as well, slowly climbing up in trophies at the same time. So this strategy involves giants and giants, wizards, archers, and healers. This isn't a super expensive strategy. It does cost a bit of money, but if you're down here in leagues where the money is good, oh no, don't, don't, don't do this to me. Whatever, let's ignore that for now. If you're down here in leagues where the money is good, such as like gold three, where you could find a lot of people farming and lots of dead bases as well, so the money here is so good with this simple cheap-ish army here like this one. We're able to do some serious damage and get a lot of the loot. So basically, the strategy works really well because it's useful for getting collector loot because you can spread your giants out around the base and then have wizards and archers backing it up because the wizards just do so much damage they can get through the collectors really easily. So you can do a barge style attack with this, I guess, with like surrounding the base because that works well too. And since you have these giants as tanks, you can also rush straight inside the base. The giants are just so powerful, they smash the walls with ease, along with the help of the healers in the back to protect them against splash damage. So yeah, you can either get uh, collector loot using this, or you can get uh, inside loot from uh, loot inside the base from storages in the town hall itself. So this strategy, you have 16 giants, 17 wizards, 24 archers, 2 healers, and uh, all of your spells should be heal. You don't always have to use all of them, as you can see in the top two ones here. I didn't have to use all of them because my just troops was, were able to overpower the base. But like on these two over here, down here, I had to use all of them, but there was a lot more loot that I had to go for. And it was just, uh, I needed the heal spell to keep my troops alive to get the last bit of the loot there. So anyway, we're going to check out this replay, see how to use this strategy and the multiple ways that it can be used. So I'm going to show one of these replays in which I was hammering right into the base and another one which I went more for a surround style attack to get loot from around the base. Either way, if you're getting about 250,000 elixir, you are going to gain about 100,000 plus elixir in the attack. In gold, you're almost always going to gain because it doesn't take that much to find the raid itself. So this is a pretty good strategy. So let's look at this attack against Black Bishop and look how much loot he has. He has a good amount of loot, especially down here in Gold 3 where you can find a lot of these types of bases. You aren't usually going to find crazy huge loot, such as 500,000 each or like a million total, stuff like that. That's going to be a more difficult to find. But stuff like this, it is really common. So let's see how this strategy works. So he is a new Town Hall 8 just like me. So I'm able to get all of the loot since I'm not attacking the lower level Town Hall 7. So, first thing I did was a scout uh, the clan castle for troops. And luckily there were none, so I don't have to deal with that. But they do have the poison spell with me to help out just in case there are any clan castle troops. Then, spam all the giants down in one location because they're just going to act as a massive tank and just going to wreck everything. One healer on the no air defense is nearby. And the giants are just basically hammered through that wall, protected by the healer, and anything that comes near them is also going to get that healer's heal effect, which is really helpful. And then just all troops behind there, saving a few wizards for later, and then more healers coming in from the top over here. They were supposed to, I wanted them to get this, this group of giants here, but it, it didn't. So now we have a lot of, we have a big clump here walking throughout this side of the base and it's just gonna do a ton of work as well as some more wizards up top so over here this is like this is just perfect because you have a big group of wizards following this big group of giants finally the healer moving over where i wanted her to be and yeah they're just shielded by the giants protected by the healer just everything is going perfectly so far in this attack we also have units going around the base that are going to take out the um they're going to take out the What's it called? The the defense is near the outside edge because the king they're protected by the king and those wizards are gonna do heavy damage over there. Now we still have our massive group of giants. The giants are just not dying because the wizards are able to take out the defenses so quickly. Even after the last healer falls, there's just so many giants that it just 
these two archer towers, they can't do anything. So let's sort of speed things up a little bit here. The enemy king is going to go down right there. The barbarian king just barely staying alive. Luckily, that giant bob didn't blow up too many wizards, only like one or two. And this attack is just going to wrap up with some massive loot gain. And just look how many giants we still have alive because we have this huge group of tank units just protecting everything. And with the help of the healer and the heavy, heavy firepower behind them, they were able to destroy everything without getting very injured. They just, they served their duty as tanks very effectively. So that was one of the style of attacks in which we're just charging inside of the base. We also have this one that I just did a couple minutes ago in which I'm going to sort of spread out my giants a little bit because a lot of the loot is outside here in the collectors. So I was kind of getting a little bit bored of searching and I just wanted to get a raid in really quickly before I started off this video here. And yeah, I did say like 25 minutes ago because I had a little bit of fail. I had a few fails before this, but that's not important. So this type of base is what I'm talking about, the collector style, uh, the collector type of base in which all the collectors are full. So giants are a little bit spread out so they can protect my units at multiple locations, allowing my units to just completely grab all the collectors. I'm not really that after gold right now, um, as opposed to elixir, so I didn't really bother with this side. But another thing that you could do is spread out your giants all the way along this left side here. And they would basically destroy a lot of, they would just basically easily destroy it with the help of the wizards. And then you would almost anyway get a three star because the units are just so powerful. And I was also attacking a lower level town hall, which made things a little bit easier. So here we go. Giants a little bit spread out. Wizards spread out. Barbarian King and their archers spread out as well. Healers at two multiple points to protect different groups of giants. So everything at this, about this attack from the get-go is going pretty well. We already have stolen most of the elixir from this base, which is insane because it was just all there in one clump, making it really, really easy to steal. Now this attack did end up being a three star since our units just went around the outside, cleared out all the defenses because they're mostly accessible from the other side of the wall, which makes them really susceptible, which makes them really susceptible to wizards because the wizards can just shoot over the wall, destroy them easily. I did use two heal spells there. I'm not sure if they were totally required, especially the one on the right side, but eh, who cares? I used it anyway because I had them and I felt like I could use them. So anyway, King special ability right there. And let's fast, fast forward this attack as well because there's nothing that's going to stop this massive, massive group of giants there. They've all met up in the center of the base, all of my units, and they're just going to overpower through anything. This Town Hall 7 base didn't stand a chance. I sort of wish it was Town Hall 8 because I would have gotten more loot, but I don't really care. I did get a good bit of loot. I think, I believe I gained about 100,000 out of that. I don't really know. <laughs> I kind of have to math out how much this army costs, but it is fairly cost effective if you're hitting bases over with over 250k elixir. And then gold, like I said earlier, you're almost always going to gain. So anyway guys, this is the Town Hall 8 farming strategy that works really well in lower leagues. It's just been, it's, it's just so good because you have these powerful tanks that are going to protect your heavy hitters, the wizards. And because there's so many tanks, they're just not going to go down. And there, there's so many of them, they're able to tank all the defenses. The wizards are not getting any damage inflicted them upon them at all. And they're able to destroy the defenses before the defense can even take out a single giant. Which is why this strategy is super effective. So, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like on it. That is greatly appreciated. If you have any suggestions, make sure to drop them in the comment section down below. And please do